A reservation has been made in your name for an extended stay. Wave goodbye to the real world. Hollywood, 1939. Amid the glitz and the glitter of a bustling young movie town at the height of its golden age, the Hollywood Tower Hotel was a star in its own right. A beacon for the show business elite. Well, sort of. It was actually an apartment building that was constructed by architects Lester Kramer and Robert Wise in 1929. Originally known as La Belle Tour, the Hollywood Tower served as an extended stay for many during what we know as the golden age of cinema. While the film industry was just getting started, legendary talents such as Humphrey Bogart, Marilyn Monroe, and Charlie Chaplin were all guests seen frequently staying and roaming the halls. At the time, it was a sophisticated living environment with more than 50 apartments inside the French Normandy-style building. Its famous neon sign was hard to miss while driving on the then newly paved 101 freeway. While La Belle Tour officially changed its name to the Hollywood Tower in the 1950s, it also changed hands and was purchased and sold to different investors throughout the 60s and 70s. Then, in 1988, it was officially listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The Hollywood Tower has also been featured in many movies, including the 1948 crime drama Devil's Cargo and 80s films such as Midnight Madness and Body Double. But what it's probably best known for is the inspiration behind Disney's Tower of Terror. Based off of Rod Serling's hit show from the 1960s, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror opened its elevator doors in July 1994 at Walt Disney World. The attraction invites guests inside the abandoned Hollywood Tower Hotel, which supposedly closed after a disastrous accident on October 31st, 1939. Lightning had struck the building, causing five people to plummet to their death while inside the hotel's malfunctioning elevator. At over 199 feet tall, the attraction is actually 90 feet taller than the real tower in Los Angeles. While the overall design of the attraction resembles that of the one in Hollywood, Imagineers also used the Millennium Biltmore and the Riverside Mission Inn as inspiration for the ride's interior and exterior design. The Twilight Zone Tower of Terror had become so popular that it expanded to Disneyland Paris, Tokyo Disney, and of course, Disneyland, up until 2017 when it was refitted for Guardians of the Galaxy inside Avengers Campus. Since the Tower of Terror opened its elevator doors over 25 years ago, it's also opened the doors to many haunting stories of the real tower's tenants. From reports of a ghost on the seventh floor staring into the Hollywood Hills, to the shadowy floating figure seen on the fourth floor. You never know what you may come across when inside the building's halls. At over 90 years old and now fully refurbished, the Hollywood Tower definitely has some rich history under its belt. Whether you know it from the movies, the myths, or just as a form of inspiration, it's worth the trip the next time you visit Hollywood. But just know what kind of vacancy you're filling, or you may find yourself a permanent resident of the Twilight Zone. <laughs>